Yeah, I'm Andy with SecureTech Access Controls. Uh, we install barrier gates throughout the, the West Coast. Um, what we have here is we installed an entrance gate and an exit gate. Um, we're actually, we're at the north end of the building on 38th Street. It's the entrance and the exit to the parking garage. Um, basically what I'm going to show you is just uh, the manual and automatic uh, operation of the gate. Okay, here's your basic gate. Right now, um, you've got three switches. The one on the right, it's a heater. It's a built-in heater. Beans, these are made in, in Canada, and there's a lot of them installed in the East Coast. They install a heater, which reduces condensation. On the West Coast, there's no need to even use the heater. Keep it off at all times. Um, there's, there's really no need for it. Um, so first off, the gate is in the down position. If we want to raise it, Center switch is the power switch, on and off, okay? It's on. Okay, now I'm gonna hit manual. That's gonna manually raise it. Okay, now when you're ready to go into full operation, power must be on. The manual and auto switch must be in the down position, which is automatic. Okay, anytime um, you wanna raise the gate and leave it open, you can put it in manual. You can turn it off and the gate is good to go. Uh, cars can come in or out depending on what, you know, what the owner has planned. And back in operation, power switch on, back in auto. Okay, um, also on these, these, are, these gates open and close on a detector. There is a red button here on the lower left. If for some reason you see there's a, a board here, I don't know if you can see it real well, with a red light on. When that light is green, that means it is detecting a vehicle. If for some reason it stays green after a vehicle, we, we never have this problem, but they do have a reset. That'll raise and lower, and it's all reset and ready to go. The green flashing light just shows it's, it's tuning itself. Um, it's a, the gate motor and everything itself is run off of 110 volts. AC and then all the operations um, are all low voltage 24 volts DC so you've got you've got DC outputs uh, low voltage um, if you ever have any problems with that another thing to try you've got two little uh, breakers here and if they're popped you can hit those that's just in case there's like an overload surge high power surge or something and for some reason it just pops these. These will pop rather than burn the board. So you can see there's just a one, uh, three amp and a one amp breaker. And basically you never, you never really have problems with those. We've got a, uh, a courtesy outlet here. If somebody needs to be working around here or something, it's, it's, not, it's not recommended other than for servicing the gate if you have to. So, but you do have that. So once again, the gate is in the on position I'm manually raise it and I'm gonna turn the power off. Now it's it's up for good until they're ready to put it in operation. Then again you will turn the power on and put it in automatic. Okay, I'm gonna raise it and I'm gonna turn it off. And it's good to go until they're ready to put it in operation. One other thing, um, I would suggest uh, probably every three to six months, check gear oil. There's a window here. If you get down to the red dot, it's time to add some gear oil, and it tells you right here what, what kind of oil. The ratio is 57 and everything else. Here's the fill lid, the fill cap. Check tension on the belt. Uh, if it gets too loose, um, there's just an adjustment. You can just loosen up the motor and pull it up against the belt. There's four bolts underneath. And basically, that is, that is about it as far as maintenance. These things are pretty well, they take care of themselves. But I would suggest, and uh, the manuals I have left uh, with the contractor do tell you everything about how many, every how many months to check the belt and check the fluid for the motor, uh, the gearbox. And basically, that's it. It's a pretty simple operation.